All right, I'm gonna start out with something called dribble challenge. You may have seen this before. If you haven't, this is a good thing to find. If you look online, they have things called dribble challenge. I think this is dribble challenge number two. You can download it and replace one of the current maps and then use it. Um, so I've done this one. This one, it's, it's very tricky. So the trick is to keep that car in the circle. So you see that little white circle on the bottom? Try to balance to keep the car there. Tricky with with um, keyboard because you don't have really a, a way to say as much forward as you want. So I have to like let go of it and kind of get feel for it. And I could have done a flip where I bump the jump and hit the car forward or hit the ball forward and gone through the goal and I should have done that. But next time. <laughs> it's good practice to get your fingers going. This is not bad. And then if you're trying to speed up a little bit, just tap the boost button. Oh, oh I almost had it. There we go. All right, so level two. This looks like it's like twice as long as the previous level. In case I didn't have it before. <laughs> I wonder if I could jump and then like postpone. Ooh, there we go. So that's the idea. I want to double jump. Oh, so close. This is a, definitely good to get started to get your fingers warmed up. Jump it, hit it that way, hit it that way. <laughs> Gotta, the trick is to remember to hold down forward for most of the time while I'm doing this. Very rarely do I let go of forward. It's more like, do I boost all the time or not? Whoops, a little too far forward. There we go. That was the best one so far. I don't know why they started me off not centered. Look at that. Definitely getting better at this. This is good. Another way to dribble is to keep the bar, the ball off centered, and then hold it in midair like this, and then switch sides. I'm gonna just try that, see what, how it looks. I'm probably going too fast to start. Ah. Yeah, that, it's gonna take practice so you have to go from the left to the right to the left and you kind of bounce back and forth I'm gonna try centered again but uh, definitely good to practice both of them I'm probably gonna keep going for a few minutes just to get ready and once I feel comfortable I can start moving up I'm gonna do the half flip later on the free play mode um, on a different map and I'll show you how to flip and this is to go opposite direction so if you're going in one direction and you want to quickly turn around there's a way to turn around and flip I'll show you that I had these a little bit better yesterday, but definitely overall seeing improvement here. And I'm sure the more I do it, the better it will. Look at this. Ah, oh, I went too fast. And definitely don't hit the back button because I'm tempted to go backwards. So I'm like, I'm a little too far forward and hit backwards. You hit backwards, the whole thing's lost because the ball's just going to fly forward. You're going to lose it. I see we have a few people on. Happy Thanksgiving. To all of you. Oh, I had it. Did you see how it bounced straight up? That was awesome. If I can get that going in the right direction, that would have been... It was like I boosted at exactly when the ball got there and it just fluttered upward. I think it's mostly my ring finger because hitting this A button to the left is a little bit against my ordinary 
body wants to do. Oh. I wish I drew like a line on the ground and said, okay, if it gets this far, do a jump and kick it into the goal. Because dribbling it all the way is going to be really hard. Let's do it. Just try... Oh. Ooh, he darted to the left. It was like, I just barely wanted to wiggle. And there's no little by little, it's it's like t putting your fingers back and forth, back and forth. And if you want to go to the right, lean to the left of the ball. And if you want to go to the left, lean to the right of the ball. I didn't, I don't think I mentioned that one either. There we go. You want to keep it right on the front, like on the dashboard. So you imagine uh, the windshield. So if you want, imagine the windshield. That's the ideal place to have it centered. Like right there, right there. Ah. bet after a few weeks I'll be like an expert at this and I can just like fly through this level and move on to level 3. Oh, that was close. So uh, to, to switch backwards, you go forward, then jump while holding backwards, like this. But then you, I forgot to do the air roll. So air roll is Q and E on keyboard, how I have it set up. So uh, I gotta do that also while you're spinning. Not a good map to, to show you this, it's just a coincidence since I landed turtles on the opposite direction. Hold down forward, don't let go forward, whoop, unless that happens. Come on. There we go, right there. Oh! So close. You have to have the ball at the right spot. I get excited when I'm going a little bit too far events. Wrong way. gotta be one of the hardest games I've ever seen where you have to like have physical skill. Most games I play are like just smarts, you know, you have to do the right thing. Like Civilization, you just have to know not to build something. You don't actually have any control over the actual building. Of it, but this one you actually have finger control. 
maybe I'll get a controller one day, but I think this is good to, to understand about the skills and stuff. I have a tendency to go to the to the left a lot, so that probably means my right pointer or my pointer is a little bit stronger than my ring finger. wrong direction. Maybe I just need to purposely hit that button to make it go back to the right. So that's probably it. That's probably my problem right there. Yeah, see I'm starting out always drifting that way. Look at that. Ah. Oh. Understanding about the circle is huge because I used to look at the ball and once you look at the ball you see it turning and rotating and you think about all the other things besides what you need to look at and you get distracted and you're trying to like judge height and things like that. Just look at the circle. Yeah, I need to stay right in the middle, not to the left of it, and not to the right of it, just There we go. Maybe I see it too more tappy. Tapping of all buttons. some tapping. I wish I could make the ball tap backwards, like one falling forward. Whew. Okay, that was good practice. 